Today we're going to look at vacuum bagging and vacuum forming um, on site type conditions. These uh, vacuum pods I simply made, they're pieces of UHMW, you can get it uh, fairly readily. These I got uh, online, they're little bullets, they are a spring activated little ball. and a swivel. So that when you put the two together, you've got constant airflow on one side, and then it only activates the other side when the pressure is applied to the spring-loaded ball. Tape uh, I got from an uh, online supplier, um, Joe Woodworker in this case. The tape gets uh, replaced fairly frequently, so you want to have a few rolls. This uh, is a little template that I made up for a stair jig. It's a piece of plywood. I put a fitting on it and some tape on the back side. I'm going to give an illustration of some vacuum clamping. So here's the pod that is connected to the vacuum supply. Here is a stair tread that we're going to cut for a miter return on a uh, sliding chop shop. Did most of the cross cut. This one um, is simply a uh, spacer so that they're on the same plane. This operates on a foot switch. I'm going to leave it on the tabletop so you can see it, but normally it'd be on the ground. Simply going to slide the jig to where I want to cut the miter return, apply the vacuum, and it's on there. You can use any type of saw that you'd like. Um, I happen to like. Uh, this style, but you've now got a guide and relatively quickly release the vacuum comes off tread comes off simply finish the remainder of the cross cut and you've got your miter return. So you could be buying these uh, blank treads and making up your own returns in the field. It's very straightforward, very simple. Uh, and it clamps quite well. When this is applied, you can hear the back is the vacuum pump running. You can make up any kind of jig that you like uh, out of plywood, uh, very simple, there's not a heck of a lot to it. You can make right angle jigs if you want to uh, put cabinets together. Uh, also, you can make a jig for hand crown molding. So, if this were a wall um, where they, it has to be a fairly smooth wall, not a, a textured knockdown, you can put your jig that you normally hold by hand, put it on a vacuum pad and it will hold the crown molding in place so you don't need an assistant to help you on that.